Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I have an American car, the brand new Jeep Grand Cherokee Overland. This is the Europe version plug-in hybrid and in this video I will make the full review, interior, exterior, material quality, space, everything about this car you will find out in this video. If you want to see the test drive video, I will have a separate video on my channel next day. So click the subscribe button to see the notification when those videos will come out. Now guys, because the car is so new, actually it comes right here at Gallicar Garage today in Switzerland. By the way, if you are from Switzerland, if you want to see this car, if you want to test drive it, if you want to buy it, if you want to see it, check out Gallicar Garage. I will leave the link in the description so you can check them out. And also because it's so new, I didn't even have the price and the information and the options of the car, but I will try to give you as much as I know. This is the Overland version, by the way, and it comes almost full option. It's not the Summit version that it's top of the range, but it's one level under and it's incredible. I mean, the features that the car come with, the quality material, the seats and the feeling and also the look, the exterior look of the car, it's, it's really impressive. And I think uh, these days Jeep come from behind with this Grand Cherokee and um, yeah, I think it's a, it's a great competitor in this class. Now guys, let me give you some technical data and then we will start the review interior, exterior, so as i said before this is a plug-in hybrid that means it comes also with a battery and also with an electric motor and a petrol engine that means they work together in a mix mode the only downside is that i will explain you a little bit later is that you cannot choose to drive only in electric mode actually you can choose to drive only in electric mode but if you floor the acceleration if you try to push it harder then the petrol engine will kick in so it's not like a conventional uh, different plug-in hybrids where you just put it in electric mode and if you have as long as you have battery the car will run only in electric until the battery will deplete it no in this version you just choose uh, electric mode you have a button there and then the car will drive in electric as long as you just gently push the acceleration and then the car uh, if you push it harder it will start also the petrol engine and this is a safety feature to be honest i think in this way the battery will last even longer but anyway the petrol engine that the car come with it's a two liter four cylinders in line petrol engine Together, all the power from electric motor and petrol engine produce 375 horsepower, 637 Newton meters. It's an all wheel drive system and all this power is connected to an 8-speed automatic transmission. The boot capacity 1068 liters and if you fold down the seats completely you will get around 2005 liters. Incredible spacious and you will see how practical it is when we get there in the trunk. Another very important information is that the battery gross capacity is 17.3 kilowatt hour. It's a 400 volt lithium battery and you have an estimated range VLTP only in electric of up to 51 kilometers. Probably in real will be around 40. Average consumption only in electric is like 25 kilowatt hour and the top speed only in electric mode will be 130 km per hour. Because the car come with two electric motors actually, I will say almost all the car these days, mild hybrid cars actually, from mild hybrid up, they come with a small electric motor and this car as well, it comes with a bigger electric motor and a smaller electric motor. One smaller electric motor, it's integrated into the transmission. It's a very small one, I think around 44 horsepower or something like that. And the other motor, the bigger one, it's 134 horsepower. The internal combustion engine power is 270 horsepower, but together all those two electric motors and the petrol engine produce 375 horsepower. The fuel tank capacity is 72 liters. The drag coefficient of the car 0 0.35. 
turning circle 11.58 meters. The car come also with ventilated brake disc on the front, ventilated brake disc on the rear. We have air suspension on the car, incredible suspension. You can also set it up from down here. And also those are the most important technical data of the car. So to make a recapitulation of those information, the car come with two electric motors and one petrol engine and also a battery. So you charge the battery. If you have enough battery, you can drive only in electric mode. If you will floor it completely, then the car will start also the petrol engine. So one engine, one motor, it's integrated in the transmission and one will work independently. And also all this system will work together in a mixed mode. Of course, you have a button where you press electric and you drive electric, but also most of the time the car is kind of made to drive in mix mode. 375 horsepower is more than enough. Even though you have a big SUV, it's more than enough to push you on the street, on the hill, on the mountain, and also sometimes off-road. But we will see that in the test drive video. So guys, let's start the review, exterior, interior, and in the end, we will make the conclusion as always. So yeah, let's do it, guys. This is the key, very fancy. I should say uh, it looks quite nice. It's a square key with a little bit of chrome around it. Quite nice. What you can do with the key is just lock the car unlock the car of course it comes also with electric folding mirrors you can see right now the mirrors are fold in uh, also you have to start the engine in order to fold out and also you can use it as a keyless entrance that means if you have your hands here you can unlock the car just like that and also you can uh, lock it i think if you put your finger right here or if you go uh, farther away the car will be locked automatically another uh, button down here it's for the trunk that means if you press it two times the trunk will open automatically it comes with an automatic lift gate and also close it just like that press it two times and the trunk will close automatically very simple and yeah very useful now guys i want to turn on the light and I want to show you the exterior design. From my point of view, I think this is the most attractive Jeep ever made. When I talk about attractiveness, I'm talking about this business look, this, this nice modern look. I don't know, Jeep, when, when you say Jeep, you think about going off-road and they have this uh, shape, you know, a little bit different, but this time kind of rounds and sometimes too sharp. For example, if you look there, those are two sharps the other one is too round the old one just just this is just my opinion but this one here it's like it has these sharp edges it has this look that attractive look look at the front it looks super nice i really like the exterior design from my point of view it's a very very attractive car there are a few features that i wish was different and we will go in the second and we will talk about those but in general the exterior design the lines the shape of the car even the future features it comes with some features that are quite impressive and i like them very much what do you think guys about the exterior design i think it's very attractive i think it looks good and the front end of the car it's kind of my favorite i really like how they how they integrate the grill there they kind of make it a little bit more uh, straighter away much more aggressive much more bigger than the the previous version and it looks really nice it's really stand out and this time even if the chrome is no more kind of no more on trend these days nobody want chrome anymore uh, this car this jeep grand Cherokee, really look nice with this chrome so what do you think guys it's really nice I like it. Even the back look nice. It's it's super attractive. We have this antenna, very nice design, very aerodynamic and modern in glossy plastic as well. In glossy plastic, we have these roof rails, very, very useful here where you can carry different items on the roof. Then we have the spoiler here that it's very nice integrated with some glossy plastic around here. Then we have the brake light, LED light tinted windows on the rear then you have this wiper also and i like the way they integrate the spoiler there this this make the car look much more sportier i should say and it looks really nice then we have across the window on the upper side this chrome 
that looks also nice between the windows glossy plastic glossy plastic tinted windows here big windows you will see when we go inside you have lovely visibility and then down here as a new trend it begins right here with glossy plastic and then continuing on the down part of the windows and it looks quite cool i really like the way it looks huge mirrors we have great visibility from the interior blind spot technology you can see right there the triangle then down here we have on the side led lights and again the chrome you can see the chrome from the windows is continuing here uh, aside the mirrors then you have the camera here it comes with 360 degrees camera and it comes also with led light here that illuminate in the nighttime the floor the ground and yeah that that's really really cool it looks really modern and nice the handle is quite big here i think they can also make it smaller to improve a little bit the aerodynamic but they are nice you can hold it right and also the quality feels quite good and also you can hear the quality of the doors yeah it's not the best sound but it's just it's just fine typical for uh for jeep now here on the pass or on the driver's side we have also the tank I think you have to yeah I have to open it from inside we have the tank but we have also the where is the button here should be yeah here we have the tank right here on the driver's side and I like the fact that you have the easy fuel you can see right here you can fuel it super super easy you don't have to open any cap and this is also another extra feature that I like very much on on those new cars these days that comes with this feature and then we have the E right here and if you open it up here you can charge the battery with a cable in AC I think the top speed uh, at charging it's 11 kilowatt if I'm not wrong I like so much this design this is much much nicer than what I saw before on Jeep cars really nice design a little bit sleeker a little bit more extended on the side so you can see it also from the side the light in the night time even if you are on the side you can see that light there it's much more attractive i don't know really nice design and led light the tail light the turning signals led light even the reverse light we have full led and this is this make me really happy to see that and also you can see it on the other side it looks nice right and it's full led light really look nice and also the turning signals you can see from behind you can see from the side it's it's quite visible and nice another good feature it's that the car come with two fog lamps so you can see on the both side and also they are LED light you can see right here they have the fog lamps they put it all the way down here and also this one on this side and if I'm not wrong here should be the brake light uh, yeah and then here should be the reverse light i have to check it out i don't i'm not sure about that but i think here is the reverse light on both sides check this out guys across the back of the car it continuing this nice design of the lights with a glossy black plastic and then in the middle we have the jeep logo and you can see around the edges of the logo we have some bluish color that signify the electricity you know that signify that this is a plug-in hybrid and also it's kind of a clean car if you go down this is the 4x e and the here on the right side you see the the version of the car we have here overland as i told you before reverse camera it's here led lights on the number plate again very useful and down here we have two exhaust pipes now this is something that i don't understand I review I think a few weeks ago another car I don't remember the name where I saw the same thing this is a plug-in hybrid everybody want to be clean and Jeep still keep those exhaust pipe so visible in the back there actually they look nice <laughs> that's the truth they look nice they are sporty they are cool but it's not so you, you can say okay I'm super clean blue blah blah you know and then down here you have big exhaust pipes you know what I mean yeah but in general it looks really nice I like the design down here with a little bit of chrome and also here some fake exhaust it looks super super cool the color is nice and I, I find it really nice on the rear although I want to point out something the car come with four parking sensors not with six that's something to keep in mind so other than that lovely back lovely back end it looks super cool 
Then, again, something that I like very much about the car is the fact that it comes with those protection around the wheels here. Those protection are very useful when you scratch the car. You don't have to repaint the, the whole body of the car. You just change these parts here and then you're good to go. And on the down part here, on the down skirt, the same story. It comes protected with a lot of uh, plastic. So even when you open the door, it comes with those protection here. So this is awesome. And also down here in the front, the same story. Also on the front arch wheel. Uh, you have this protection here and the fact that they paint it in the color of the car it's even better it's integrated even better with the design here on the side really interesting it comes with this yellow light right here on the side it's kind of i'm not sure why what is the reason for it and why they put it here and i think it works only when you turn on the fog lamps so actually if i will go inside the car and I will close the fog lamps. Let me try that. Let me close the fog lamps. No, it's still working. Maybe the turning signals. I want to see that. I'm really curious how you close that. No, it's still open. Maybe if you close the lights. Yeah, they, it works with the lights in the same time. I didn't test it before. I was really curious about that uh, with what it's connected. So here this light from the side it works in the same time with the main light main high um, high beam actually low beam now guys up here we have full led as well turning signals led high beam low beam led uh, it's not matrix led light or stuff like that but it's more than enough in the night time to have a good uh, view then the fog lamps led light as well here in the front six parking sensors much better than on the rear and then you have also down here some protection for the wheels if you go off-road and then look at the grill look at the front it's beautiful and if you go down a little bit you can see the lights from this angle lovely car I, I really like it Jeep writing with the same bluish around here we have this traditional um, Jeep grill I really love it with the chrome it looks super super nice this is the night vision camera I will show you when we go inside the car how it works and this is the normal camera and it's super super cool you will see from the interior the resolution is very good and other than that if we go down here we have again some chrome some air intakes you can see down here and also down there so really nice I like it it stand out a lot i mean it's really stand out if you if you drive this car on the street this jeep grand cherokee these days it really attract your 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 a lot of views you know like you feel special it, it really looks special and business and also it comes in a longer version but i'm not sure if that version will come to europe but in usa it comes with a longer version uh, with free row here we have only two rows so that's something to keep in mind now let's go to the rims down here we have 20 inch rims ventilated brake this on the rear as i tell you before they look also very nice on the car i think those 20 inch look gorgeous and not only that they look good but i see they have a lot of gummy that means great comfort over the bumps <laughs> even though the car come with air suspensions and the comfort is fabulous but with those uh, tires um, not only that they look good but they are also economical because they are a little bit smaller and they look nice anyway ventilated brake discs on the front huge brake discs also here you can see the brake calipers and that's it guys i think this is the exterior i want to show you the engine but first of all, let me stop the, the lights. You open it from here, simple like that. You just pull it. Every time you open the hood, it will start the engine as well. Not only on this car, but most of the plug-in hybrid cars uh, have the same story. Automatic lift gate in the front. I like that very much. You can see it from the back. And this is the engine, guys. Here's the battery, Jeep Turbo. Here's the air filter and the engine is placed around here. Here's the wiper fluid. 
and I see that also they put a lot of work in insulating the engine here so that's a very good thing with rubber that in this way you can't hear too much vibration you can hear too much vibration where you are inside the car or when you are driving the car so this is also a very very good feature anyway let me show you the trunk now you have here a button as well you can open it automatically you just press it the entrance in this trunk it's fabulous i mean the way they designed the entrance it's really good so you have kind of a square entrance there i like that you can fit in big items without any problem this is a super super nice trunk and it's super practical now up here you have a handle then you have two led lights and the speakers interesting how they design the speakers up here on the trunk door and i'm not sure how useful they are but if you go in the nature and you make a picnic you can hear music outside so this is really interesting then uh, i like the fact that we have a flat floor here it's completely flat this is also awesome we have some aluminium down here some hooks in the corners in every corner you have a hook and also we have right here uh, the possibility hold to set so you can set the position of the door of the trunk door so this is also cool then you have a 12 volt port here on the side you have a hook on the side hook on the side we have a speaker here by the way really interesting uh, speakers we have the sound system here on the car from Macintosh that means it's kind of the first car that Macintosh come back and make speakers for it so really really interesting I like that this is this is cool to see some competition to the other uh, sound systems now another interesting thing is the fact that the Jeep added on the right right window here the kind of the transition and the experience Pend of the Jeep Grand Cherokee so you can see from the first model to the last model so it's interesting that they add some kind of small signature stuff on the car and this is really cool now again here we have this protection for the trunk that I will take it out you can also extend it like that and yeah if you need it it's it's quite useful but for me I'm, I'm not a big fan of this kind of things I always take them out and I will take it out also as well today in the video to show you how it looks without it and also to fold down uh, the seats a little bit so you can see the space but overall it's a huge space here I told you guys I tell you it's it's really big if you have a family with two free kids and you go to holiday with this car you have so much space here without any problem you can fit in a lot of stuff now the big question is it's a plug-in hybrid usually under the floor not too much space yeah but check this out it's one of the the unique one of the one percent or five percent cars in switzerland or, uh, and probably in europe that comes still come with a spare tire it's incredible look at this you have a spare tire you have uh, here all the cables in this area so right here you have all the cables to charge the car that the car come with and then you have the triangle and all that uh, tools to change the wheel if you want to on the right side and it's incredible I mean if you don't need that it's very simple you can actually take it out from here and then you have a big space right to put different things but you have also the battery there you can see is the, the battery right there so you can take it out so yeah I guess it's not so much space but if you take the spare tire out you will have some space around like that but in general this is the space anyway in terms of quality it's very good quality it feels super nice and also on the side here the quality is it's really really nice also here no problem anyway let me take this out and then we will fold down the seats all right now I just take out that protection so you can check out one more time the space here in the back this is the space relatively good now if you want to fold down the seats in the front then you have to go around to the doors this is kind of a disadvantage I don't know why they didn't add some kind of handles here on the side so like you 
just pull it. It doesn't have to be electronically. It has to be only mechanical. So you just pull it and release it. And also here on the same stuff. The other thing that I wish was different is the fact that in the middle, you don't have the possibility to fold down the seats in the middle in order to carry long items like skis or whatever. And in the same time have two passengers. So that's something to keep in mind. Those are kind of uh, the minuses that I find until now to the car and yeah but in general it's a lot of space here for some people that worth mention good now going inside here in order to fold down the seats actually let me adjust the seat in the front where i sit before so just like that we have electric adjustable seats down here and the, the seats quality is they are fabulous i will show you later when we get there now here guys in order to fold it down you have to pull it from here it's just simple as that but the downside is that you really have to go around the car and we will do that together now so just like that in general very simple very fast and also it's stable um, and also i like very much the transition here it's very good quality but until we get there let me show you from the back look at the, look at the entrance look how much space you have here it's crazy crazy spacious you can fit in here huge items without any problem it's lovely i mean the space nothing to say it's completely flat so you can even sleep here as i said before you can camp with this car i see these days it's a trend now you can camp i see many people on the internet on youtube they camp with those suvs and it has 12 volt port it has everything in it you can even sleep here it's a flat floor so from the point of view of practicality it's gorgeous also it comes with that glass roof that looks awesome and then if we go on the side as you see before and open the door here the opening is not 90 degrees but it's big enough uh, to to go inside here and to fit in also a lot of stuff so you can see also from this angle the way it looks Look at the entrance in the back, huge entrance and the quality here, it's very good. I, I, I totally like it. Down here on the legs room, we have a transmission tunnel like probably 10 centimeters, but yeah, plenty of room to put uh, a few stuff also here. So in general, this is the space here. Let me put everything back and then we will go inside. All right, so before we go inside, I want to show you something. Check this out. You put it up just like that and then you can adjust the seats this is the great part the way you want it you can leave it straight or you can leave it more on the back so for example if you look at the other one it's all the way on the back so you can see the difference are like maybe 15 centimeters a lot of a lot of differences and if you want to fold it you have to push it pull it and then push it all the way on the back it's kind of complicated to do that with one hand so you need both hands and right now they are all on the back so you can see right now uh, the position but yeah before we go to the seats let's talk a little bit about the windows and the doors here this is the door you, you can see right here the distribution between the window and the door part it's like equal that means it's a huge window that means great visibility from the interior we would see in the second you have a fixed window and one that can be fold down and you can fold it down from here and you can see right now that it's folded down all the way down what i notice here is that we have double glassing that means gray sound insulation inside the, the cabin and also i noticed that when i sit inside the car before good in terms of quality very good quality so jeep also had high quality on the uh, rear door so we have leather on the upper side we have chrome here we have this woodish fake trim it's kind of a plastic but it looks like a wood it's really interesting the way it feels or actually i'm not i don't think it's a wood because it feels like plastic i'm not sure yeah i think it's plastic in the woodish design then you have the handle you have leather here in this area leather stitches handle the buttons for the windows lock and unlock button then you have the speaker small speaker big speaker you can see macintosh writing there and some storage space a small storage space and then we have the entrance in the car that it's quite big so you can go inside here without any problem and you can see how it looks the glass roof look also fabulous i will definitely get the car with the glass roof if i will buy it and from this angle you can see it the way it looks 
and it's it's super spacious you will see i will go inside and i will show you it's crazy crazy spacious and the fact that you can fold down the seats all the way in the back and make it much more comfortable over long trips in terms of quality we have leather proper leather and the quality it's super super good isofix for child you can install two child seats here i see that in the middle they kind of flat it out so in order to have a better comfort also for third passenger then you have an armrest in the middle leather and then you have two cup holders there behind the front seats we have some plastic in this area some storage space down here and then let me go inside the car once i'm going inside i close the door up here you have an led light you have a handle and also a hook the quality on the roof it's relatively good i will say from one to ten i will give it an eight now here you have a transmission tunnel maybe 10 centimeters seven ten centimeters but it's enough space here to the legs i will show you later here in the middle you have some storage for your phone you can leave your phone there down here we have the vents quite good quality a little bit lower we have four usb this is crazy incredible how many usb they add here we have two usb two usb c we have heated seats on the rear for you and the passenger so this is awesome and then you have 150 volt outlet right here so super useful stuff those are uh, a big plus for the car to be honest now i set the seat in my driving position from before and this is the space i'm 173 centimeters so the space on my knees it's it's really good nothing to complain about that i can stretch my legs completely almost and under the front seat and i don't have any problem down here when I stay with my knees, my, my, my legs close to the seat, then you have like two free fingers here. Your knees will stay a little bit higher, but if you're straight, your legs down there will be just perfect. In terms of head space, no problem. I have like six fingers over my head. And the position here with the seats all over on the back is just gorgeous. I mean, it's super, super relaxing. I like it. Also visibility is perfect. You can have, you can see here from the side, great visibility. Here, great visibility. And here we have some leather on the armrest. Awesome, I mean, it's, it's really good. Now, if I go in the middle, guys, it's very easy. Nothing complicated here in the middle. I feel like it's a little bit more stiffer on the back because of the armrest. On the down part, it's relatively good. I'm impressed. It's almost the same as on the side. So this is a good thing. On the head, I have less space, maybe five fingers. I can stretch my hand left, right, without any problem. So I can have free person here without any problem in the back for even for long trips, I tell you. If I go a little bit further, further away, just like that, it's just perfect. And also look at the space on my legs. I have huge space on my, on my knees. I can stay with my legs together. It's just super spacious nothing to complain from my point of view and i tell you if i go a little bit in the front with my knees i stay here long trips super 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 easy anyway guys we will go in the front now and there are a few great changes and great cool stuff that i want to show you the design of the dash it looks super nice i mean nothing to complain i really like the way it looks also it comes with this new multimedia system we have new digital cockpit um, we have also a nice steering wheel and yeah in general i think it looks really modern and super nice anyway let's go in the front guys let's talk about those things there here we have a big window from one piece big mirrors great visibility outside nothing to complain about that in terms of design relatively the same as on the rear the same nice leather soft here the same woodish design here handle we have two position to save the seats the electric seats some chrome insertion here again here we have like this beautiful leather an led light inside there i don't know if you can see it but under there it's a nice ambient light in the nighttime but here leather stitches leather super good quality down here in this area we have plastic on the down part but we have a lot of space here to put different items then we have a big macintosh speaker huge speaker there jeep logo here at the entrance on this plate we have normal pedals 
and then we have electric adjustable seats of course you can adjust it from here super simple and look at the entrance this is the entrance in the car quite big it looks gorgeous look look at the seats look at the glass roof it looks super super nice the quality inside the car i tell you it, it's really premium it really uh, stand out also you can see one more time the seats from this angle and you can see they are in leather made they are quite bright and the quality of this leather it's really good it feels like it can last for for many years here we have the overland writing side support we have side support you can adjust also the lumbar part and also uh, the seats electrically fully electric in every position then here we have the electronic handbrake we have also the controllers for different uh, actions for example the hybrid mode you can drive only in hybrid mode like a mix mode the car will choose for you and then if you choose electric mode that means when you have enough battery the car will drive actually will try to drive only in electric mode but if you floor the acceleration and you try to drive aggressively then the engine uh, the, the internal combustion engine will kick in and uh, will kind of drive also in mix mode but um, yeah this is a really interesting and also it's much more safe for the uh, battery and for the system in in long running now the e-save probably you wonder what it is the e-save it's that the car will save the battery for later if you are on the highway you want to drive on the petrol and then you go in the city and you want to drive electric in the city you just press this e-save and you can choose from the menu how much percent of the battery you want to save for later and then you have here the controllers for the lights and the fog lamps and then you have the brightness of the screen and the if i'm not wrong position of the lights a little bit higher here it's also plastic until here it's plastic then it comes this beautiful chrome with wood dish insertion leather here leather everywhere on the dash super good quality also the vans feel quite good as you touch them you have electric adjustable steering wheel so from this little wheel here you can adjust it electrically in which position you want very simple let me go inside the car once you go inside the car as i know this before the sound insulation is very good you can see right now it comes a truck here with a few cars and the sound insulation in the car it's gorgeous actually it's a highway around here and you barely hear some noise from outside and this is awesome and you can see visibility is perfect big windows and also on the windshield relatively good visibility around the window so nothing to to complain from this point of view even in the back there the visibility is great you can see one more time the seats and down here we have a big armrest in leather you can also open it up you have some storage space and if you need more space you can actually open this up as well you just pull it like that and then you have even more space there to to add different items now in terms of quality around here center console we have plastic on the side that's something to keep in mind but it looks nice as an overall design here you can open this up you have two um, cup holders in very good quality glossy plastic here a little bit higher we have these auto hold buttons four wheel drive low this is also super useful and then we have different driving modes right here from sport mode auto mode snow sand rocks depending which mode you are the car will also react accordingly so if we go also uh, actually when you change these driving modes you can see it also on the screen there snow sand mud it will show you right there a nice graphic but most of the time i think for most of the people you can leave it on auto all the time then we have the downhill assist we have the wheel to go in different driving modes you just have to rotate it like that and if you want to go in neutral it's very interesting you actually have to press this small button here you cannot press it with your finger actually you will need something uh, to press on it and then you have the downhill assist of course right here and because the car come with air suspensions we have this possibility to choose um, how you like to have the suspension so if you want to have it low you drive on the highway you want a lower consumption you go low if you want to go off-road a little bit 
you go all the way up so this is cool feature and i like it and also it helps to the comfort of the car now guys a little bit forward we have a place for the phone and it's not wireless charging at least this one i'm not sure if you can get it as an option wireless but you can leave your phone you can leave your keys down there so it's a very helpful space and again a lot of usb port again four four uh, usb ports like 2c and 2.2 really interesting and we have an auxiliary port and you have again a 12 volt port so a lot a lot of ports i i really love them and you can also close this one just like that if you want to super nice a little bit higher another good thing that i find is the fact that the jeep doesn't uh integrate the navigation the climatic system in the navigation system and this is super good because uh, most of the people complain that they have to go in the navigation on other cars to turn on the climatic system no in this new jeep grand Cherokee, we don't have that we have physical button and this is super good for example you can control the volume uh, you can control the climatic system all the button we have physical buttons here very simple like that even the vents from here you go up and down the temperature here you go up and down and you can control it from here of course you can control it also from this new multimedia system but it's great that they keep this uh vents and possibility to control it from here this is this is super super good then on the right side you have also this possibility to change uh, the the station the radio station and up here i want to show you something incredible the car come also with heated seats uh, ventilated seats cooled seats i should say heated steering wheel and also physical button very easy to use awesome i mean i i love those features this is in the summer uh, a bless to have on the car i tell you and because these seats are perforated you can see there's little holes here and here that mean when you turn the ventilation on it will it will come a little bit of air cold air and you will not sweat down here uh, on the back or under the pants so this is cool really cool this is the start stop engine and then also integrated in this nice um, wood trim, some chrome design here on the dash. And I'm not sure if it has an ambient light, I don't think so. Down here, you have also plastic in this area. If you open it up, the glow box is not that huge, but it's relatively fine to put different items there. And also the quality, it feels really good. Here leather, here leather, super awesome. There you have also another speaker, you have uh, another speaker in the corner another speaker here macintosh they look really nice one of the most beautiful speakers in this area that i see until now then you have also those vents here directly in the middle they are just perfectly positioned right here then we have some buttons up here if you want a, a maximum regeneration you just press this button and you can see on the screen it says max regeneration on so if you want to regenerate as much uh, energy as possible in the battery and then here we have like the lane assist off um, we have the traction control the um, hazard light and then we have the parking sensor so from here you deactivate and activate them super simple also very nice i see that the screen it's integrated very nice in the dashboard here it kind of flowed on the side but it's nice how they come with this chrome around it and it's really really nice integrated here in the center console in the in the dashboard i really like it now if we go to the uh, i will leave the navigation to the end uh, let's go to the steering wheel. I noticed that the position of driving, you can adjust it perfectly electrically, depend how you want it. The visibility is really good from the driver point of view. You have a great visibility in this new uh, cockpit, digital cockpit, because they make the steering wheel a little bit bigger. You have perfectly view there and also perfectly view here on the, on the right side. And because you have a lot of physical buttons and easy to use stuff, it's, it makes the life easy of a driver uh, to change different settings here then going to the steering wheel super good quality and not only that it has good quality but also um, it's it, it it's feel good it looks nice i like it also some glossy plastic in this area we have these stitches here super good quality i really like it we have also some pedals here behind you can see right here and i think from those pedals if i'm not wrong let me put it in drive and if you play with it manually engage yes if you play with them 
you can change the gear manually if you want to. I'm not sure if many people will use this feature, but it's good to know that it's here. Then, here I like the fact that we have physical button to change different views on this cockpit and I will show you in a second. So from here you change and customize it. Also you have the telephone. On the right side we have controllers for autopilot and all that, um, uh, all that safety features. You can activate autopilot from here. We will test it as well in the test drive video. But overall very good quality also on the steering wheel. You can see the stitches here super nice quality anyway actually let me show you let me go a little bit through the cockpit and show you the different uh, settings that you can do but before that I think I have to move the car if you go in reverse the car come with an incredible reverse camera I really like it let me leave down the, the handbrake it's down here electronic handbrake and then let's go a little bit forward because the sun come directly on the cockpit and I cannot film it for you guys so I'll have to turn the car a little bit let me put it in reverse and then you go in reverse you have fabulous cameras really fabulous I really like the camera of the car and I will definitely show you right now but let me finish with the cockpit first of all so first of all let me put it on park it's so easy to change the gears you can get used with it super fast this is the cockpit it's a digital cockpit it's a new cockpit it's it's a very good cockpit from my point of view i will definitely definitely actually recommend it to 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 the other uh, cars that the jeep will made in the future because it's it's customizable it's not as customizable as a mercedes but you can customize a lot of stuff actually let me close this did you, did you know that you can close this curtain and then it will be much more easier because the the light will come from up here and you have some buttons here you can close this curtain you can open also the glass roof i'll show you later but now you can see we can see much much better on the cockpit there uh, what it is on the screen so the great part is that you can customize in many ways you can you can see for example information about the coolant the temperature the oil temperature the oil pressure the battery voltage you can see information about the oil here how many percent uh, you can also reset it the, the pressure on the tires and also the consumption you can reset the consumption in the middle to see how it is or you can change the view in uh, another efficient coach it'll call so it will show you what happened with the battery and with uh, electric motors and also um, you can see the range right here how much range you have in total and how much range you have electrically so this is also really interesting uh, then you can change also this view for example you can go here like a normal view you can see the speedometer you can see night vision uh, it's starting right now so you will see it in a second it's it's awesome i mean i like very much this night vision uh stuff so you can see in the night time when you're driving i don't know right now it's day you can see the jeep in the front there and the nighttime camera it's super useful because you can see animals for long distance and people and it's it's crazy crazy useful i will definitely love to have this feature on my car and i show you the camera when we were outside and then of course you have the driver assistance systems um, that the car come with i heard they are awesome i didn't try it yet but i heard that the jeep improved them and they're working perfectly on the highway uh, then let me change this as well and then you have the the energy and stuff like that like um, energy i mean this is the radio stations and then we have the navigation if you go here the map it's loading right now and you can have the map completely map on the screen and if you go here to the navigation for example and add a destination so let me add destination here and just like that this is the same navigation as uh, Stellantis group use it also on other uh, cars from the group and then you have right there on the screen directly the map with all that information so it's it's crazy cool i mean i like it very much to be honest i like how much you can customize it um, big changes that they are made destination at 950. yeah big changes that they made and from my point of view i think it's it's just super cool i really like what they did with those um, you can go also here 
to the settings we have the head up display by the way you have also the car have also a head up display i'm not sure if you can see it it's directly on the windshield i think you can see it right there true the brightness is not that good so you press ok to enter the settings we have to go to the settings to change a little bit the brightness come on i'm pressing ok now we are in the settings and here you have the display on content layout display height brightness here and if you go all the way up to the brightness you can see it a little bit better now you can see the head up display is directly on the windshield and it's it's perfect i mean it doesn't bother you at all it's very good integrated right there in the in the screen you have so many options here to change from and i will make a separate video with all these options guys and to show you how you can use this cockpit and the multimedia system of this jeep grand cherokee so i will go even more into detail so i will show you more details but keep in mind uh it's much much better than what was before and from my point of view it's it's a great great welcome um change so here you can see also this information off-road trail status and from here you can change to see the wheels and off-road information so you have a special uh, screen and a special view only for off-road and audio and messages and settings here and head up display and if you go to the settings here actually you press ok you can see what you would like to see on the right and left side i don't know if you can see right now but on the left and right side also here there are a few small widgets and upper left upper right and then left side and right side so if you choose right side or current gear you can go here and you can choose what you like to see there and how cool is that i mean you can customize it in so so many ways uh, it's a great cockpit all right now that we are finished with the cockpit i hope you get some useful information from it down here on the left side you can see also the water temperature and then on the right side you can see how much fuel you have and yeah it's it's really really interesting now guys let's go forward now let's go to the multimedia system i want to talk about multimedia system and then we can go a little bit higher to show you the rest of the car multimedia system it's super good it's kind of the same software and multimedia that it, it's a little bit different but like stellantis use it also on other cars and i tested before it works really good it's really responsive also the screen it's it's kind of a combination between glossy and matte screen and it's very very responsive here you can add widgets on the home screen for example if you want to add your seats it's kind of the same as you add it also on other car the power flow so it's great that it shows you a nice um, information and uh, what happened with the energy while you're driving so you can see here the array of the engine and motors so if we if we extend this one you can see that the car have an electric motor on the rear it has an electric motor integrated in the gearbox and it has the petrol engine right there so i think you can see the way they look it's it's a really complex system but it's a really really interesting one and you can see here a lot of information anyway let me go back to home here you can also customize those if you hold it you can move it around you can put it on the first page you can put it wherever you want to put it you can change it from here for example if you want to have this one on the first page instead instead of the radio you can do that yeah anyway you can change it around here then if you go here i like the fact that you have those shortcut buttons that you can go in different settings like here is the radio with sources with browsing with audio settings you have everything in one place so even the the multimedia setting the software array it's very smart it's very clear and you can learn it it has a very easy curve to learning and it's it's really nice then if you go forward to the comfort you can see right here you can play and you can adjust different settings on the multi, on the climatic system you don't have to go here on the on the physical button you can use also the uh, screen if you want to do that so this is also a great feature so again you can close it from here and if you turn it on 
you can see that you can choose where you want the air to go so that's also cool the car come with heated seats ventilated seats heated steering wheel you can also all those change and adjust from here now if i go forward let me turn it off you go forward to the navigation that you see it before it's also very responsive and it works really good you have also information about charging stations about gas stations you can see right here how responsive it is it's it's much much better than what was before and you can see right here it shows you a nice round circle and it tells you until where you can actually drive with electric mode and until where the battery will last so you can see right here where we are and it shows you a nice round circle up to where you can go with um, electric mode and then you can recenter it just like that but a lot of great information useful information and it's a good navigation if you go to options here you can also change different uh, settings av avoid uh, road types or you can go to root overview find alternatives um, and all that stuff you have a lot of settings it's it's a really good navigation system that's something to keep in mind then if you go to the phone i will make a separate video on how to connect your apple car um, I'm actually iPhone to this multimedia system and stay tuned guys it will come next days and also I will make a separate video with this multimedia system where I go a little bit more in details about it but here you have also this on the vehicle all the controllers of the car you have the e-hybrid you have controls and settings of the car we'll start with e-hybrid and here you have all the information and you can see when the car is starting and the engine is running it shows you a nice graphic here with what happened with the energy here you have the driver history driving history the schedule the e-save you can change and you can save you you can choose how much energy you want to save for later so for example save battery you say i want to save for example uh, target battery percent it's like 80 percent right now but you can also change those or um, yeah you can go to battery charge and you say i want i want a 40 uh, percent why is not working it's like 80 right now it should work you know like you should you should you should choose your target you know but i think the battery it's much more full than that that way it doesn't work now but yeah in general i think you get the point now Charging settings, this is really interesting. For example, if your charging rate is high, you should leave it on high. If you charge at a normal socket, you should go on low. If it not work, you just lower it a little bit. But for the moment, we will leave it on high. Yeah, actually we have 3% battery. So yeah, it's quite low right now. And you, if you see how much time you need to charge it if you will use a cable. Anyway, if you go to controls right now, you will see right here we have like mirror dimmer so you can dim your mirrors from here from the button the upper mirror i will show you later we have the surround cameras because the car come with 360 degrees camera incredible camera system the resolution is great front camera side camera you have everything reverse camera and i like that the reverse and front camera on this screen it's so big i mean you have such a good visibility from the driver point of view uh, i don't know if you can see it but it's huge the screen and it's so clear you can see every single piece of stone or stuff what is in the back there anyway and also you can clean the camera if you see down here the front camera have a clean mode and if you press it it comes a little bit of water and you just clean it it's, it's super super cool uh, if it get dirty you can clean it from here so really great system forward facing camera you already see it and then rear view camera you already see it if you go to settings those are the most important settings and are a lot of settings here like display mode you can change the language here you can change like the theme the dark and auto you can change the units the touch screen beeps you can change so many features here ready to drive pop up uh, my profile here you can save your profile and you can save your stuff for later you know from here you can um, change different settings then you go safety and driver systems here are all the safety system like emergency brake adaptive cruise control all that safety features you find it here let me start the climatic system because it start to warm up here 
Pedestrian emergency brake, this is also a great feature. We have forward col collision sensitivity. This is also how sensitive will be the emergency brake. Then we have active driver assist. That means it will uh, actually, the steering wheel will vibrate. I will give you an attention. We have active line management, traffic sign assist. We have all these um, like traffic sign assist, warning, new speed zone. Um, where was that indication night vision video warning park sense so many safety features all those are safety features that the car come with it's just incredible um, how much they they evolve you know with these safety features blind spot technology we have electric power steering default here heel assist uh, tire feel assist this is also super cool I like this feature and and there are so many things that you don't find it in most of the cars hybrid electricity here ready to drive pop up then you have clock and date uh, phone and Bluetooth voice navigation and here you have all the settings of the navigation you have the camera settings here you have the mirror and wipers you have the lights right here you can choose uh, to illuminate you know when you approach to the car or um, ambient color personalization from here you can change the ambient what kind of ambient color you want to have in the car you can see you can choose red on the legs and you can choose blue or yellow on the upper or, or whatever color you want you can choose from here uh, the ambient colors then you have the headlights of delay you have also all kind of settings like proximity wake up gratings light auto dim high beam cornering lights the car come also with those flashlight with look with lock really interesting brakes here on the brakes we have auto park brakes so you can activate it from here when you when you park the car the brake will uh, automatically activate so you can activate this and the brake service you can also uh, find it here then going even lower you have doors and locks all the doors and locks uh, settings you find it here then we have also the seats and comfort we have key off options so you can choose how you like to have your key and then suspensions also you can go into the suspension auto entry exit suspension display suspension messages tire jack mode and auxiliary mode and then we have audio settings you can go even deeper i've shown you before the audio settings was a little bit earlier um, and then you have notification radio setup geolocation and then we have software update software information and reset you can reset it all to zero so really interesting then we have another one here on the apps if you go to the apps you have all the apps here array in a nice way so you will find all the application right here you have the comfort app the navigation app the phone apps so from here you can con connect your phone and i will show you in another video how to do that uh, but keep in mind you can also uh, connect your um, your phone here are the, the heating here are the navigation the phones here you have android auto device management and phone i will show you also how you can connect your android uh, and also um, iphone then we go to vehicle you have the ambient colors the cameras you you kind of find the same things as you find it in the vehicle settings but in the different way um, so it's not the same it's a little bit different array here but kind of they are kind of the same and also of course the car is connected to the internet you can see also weather so information so yeah are not available check your subscription because you have to subscribe to them and then if you go up here if you press this you have kind of also some kind of shortcut information here uh, and shortcut uh, buttons i should say where you can go in different settings like device management you can add a device and stuff like that so in general this is the mm, multimedia system this is the new multimedia system from my point of view it's a big improvement it's very responsive it's a premium one it's between the best now up here you have the the, the mirror and i see that in the other version 
on this Grand Cherokee, you can get the mirror with the camera where you can turn it here and you have a reverse camera, but this one doesn't have it, this version. I'm not sure if you can get it as an option here in Europe. I will ask that. Uh, a little bit higher, we have all those lights, you know, like LED lights up here, assistant, SOS buttons. We have also the button to open the trunk from here. You have also all these buttons and controllers for the glass roof from where you can open it up. And I'll show you in a second as well. And then of course we have my favorite thing, uh, the glass support up here. I wish I have it also. Then we have also a super nice mirror with LED lights on the side. They look super fancy and premium. And then you have a microphone and then you have a handle here. And now if you wanna open this glass roof, I wanna show you in the end, it's very simple just like that and it's so big the glass roof you have to position one and then you have to press it one more time in order to go all the way on the back but it's great that you can also open this just like that just leave a little bit of air or you have the possibility to open it completely and what I noticed this is one of the biggest glass that you can open it on the market these days and look how much you can open it it's just crazy and I want to take a little bit of time to show you that because this is incredible I think this is the biggest biggest glass that I ever seen uh, on the glass roof that you can open it up and you can see also from the upper side so you can see how it looks it's, it's really really big really huge so anyway a great a lot of great features in the car here I want to close it right now you can close it very simple just like that a lot of great features that the car come with and the other cars doesn't come i mean when we talk about this class i'm not talking about other class and other uh, price range but when we talk about this class and when we talk about with what kind of cars this jeep grand Cherokee uh, compete i think it's it's a great car to take into consideration when you make your next purchase and if you are on the market for a car in this class so guys that was the review that was the video with this new jeep grand Cherokee. from from my point of view the rating for this car from 1 to 10 keeping in consideration the fact that i don't have the price right here i will have to to take it out of the consideration the price and i will think only about the quality and the safety feature comfort features practicality i will give it a 9.8 i think it's a fabulous car but i think there are a few things that can be improved and because this grand shiroki want to compete in a premium premium level i think it has a few plastic parts that they can actually change it for example here in the center console you see you have a little bit of too much plastic here i think it would be nice if it was just some kind of soft material but other than that the seats the multimedia the cockpit the safety features the practicality the space also steering wheel quality wise is fabulous easy to use stuff and i mean it's a lovely car and also the design is beautiful from the exterior if you look at the exterior design it's really really nice so i like the car in general i like the car i will definitely take into consideration if i want to buy a car in this class so yeah that's my my view uh, around this car so guys i hope the video was useful i hope you get some useful information from here i have super limited time and limited space to review it so i hope uh, i did um, a good job with this video to show you a few features that this new jeep, jeep, grand, jeep grand shiroki come with so guys if you like it don't forget to like share subscribe i will really appreciate that so thank you very much if you are in switzerland around switzerland check out gallicar garage i will leave the link in the description so you can check out the car also if you want to see the test drive i will have a separate video where i drive the car and i will give you my feedback on how it's on the road a special video with consumption will come as well on the channel so we will see what kind of consumption we can get out of this uh, jeep grand Cherokee europe version plug-in hybrid 2024 version in europe here at least because in usa it's already there uh, for for a year i think anyway thank you for watching uh, stay safe and i see you soon in the next one bye guys <music>